Hey, this is Digital Byte Computing. Today we're gonna to look at this specific product. This is a Ring video doorbell. We're gonna hook it up to our uh, existing Amazon suite of products and into our smart home. But before we do that, uh, remember to always subscribe and uh, click on the notification bell there to follow my channel, Digital Byte Computing. But let's just go through this review right now. So my name is Emilio and I work in IT and I absolutely love it. And today we're looking at this product. This is a uh, Ring video doorbell. So it's a doorbell with a camera and we're gonna just connect this. We're gonna unbox this product and connect this to our existing network and really show you how it works and the features that this brings. So there are different models available. This is the original Ring. Then there is the Ring 2, the Ring 3, and there's also the Pro versions. But for the average home user that wants to stay on a budget, this is the best option, which is why I've selected this product. So let's just now go and unbox it. We'll show you the features, and then we'll go and connect it into our existing range of smart home devices. So here is the product, the Ring Video Doorbell. The great thing about this is that it's uh, battery powered, so you can actually uh, plug in a USB port to the back and there is a rechargeable battery. And you can also hardwire it as well if you so choose to do that. Otherwise, you'll have to continue to remove the device and charge it manually. The great thing is it does come with 1080p HD video, two-way talk, which is excellent. So when somebody rings the doorbell, the video will show up on your uh, phone, for example, uh, and then you can actually communicate with whoever's at the door via this particular device has motion alert, so not only does it get activated by somebody pressing on the button, it also has snapshot capture to take snapshots as it needs to around certain things. It also does have night vision and is also water resistant uh, in the case where it does rain and your device does get wet. And one of the great things is that it's fully compatible with your smart home devices also. So what you'll need to do is you need to download the application for your iPhone or your Android device. We're gonna do this on our iPhone. It also has full integration into your smart home over the Amazon suite, the Alexa suite of products. So let's open this up. It does come in different colors. This particular one is sort of like a matte uh, dark gray, black type of color. And here it is. So the back panel is removable. So this is the actual panel itself where we're going to be screwing into the location. One, two, three, four screws to be able to attach our doorbell. It does have a USB connection right here. This is where you'll run the cable into a computer or into a USB charger to be able to charge the battery. And also it does have a QR code right here where you can scan to be able to help you and assist you during the setup stage. The inside of the packaging, look at that, comes with a drill bit. How many uh, actual devices do you see that comes with the drill bit? There you go, comes with the drill bit, comes with a water level to make sure that it is straight. Here is our USB cable. All right, so one end into the back of the actual device, the other end into your PC or into somewhere else and then your actual screws there to allow you to screw that in place. And a screwdriver, look at that. Comes with a screwdriver with a Torx screw head, which is fully removable. I mean, this is great. This is amazing that it came with this. Phillips head, Torx on the other side. Next step is now to set this thing up. So let's just go to our iPhone. We're gonna go and download the application. There is a code, QR code on the back, which is gonna be needed during the installation phase. So let's log into our iPhone right now and download the app and go through that setup. So here we are logged into our iPhone. I'm gonna go into the app store and in here, I'm gonna search for Ring, R-I-N-G. You see that right here, I've got the application Ring Always Home. So let's just go ahead and get that. Once the application is downloaded, we'll open it up. I'm gonna allow it to send me notifications because that's really the whole point. And we'll go and create an account. You'll receive an email similar to this. Go ahead and verify it now. It's now gonna ask you whether you want to link your account to your Amazon account. Uh, that is completely optional. Um, I do have an Amazon account, so I'm going to link it together. So I'm gonna select link account, or you can skip for now and do this later. Accounts have been successfully linked after you log in to your Amazon account. And now we go through the get started. So this is a brand new device. So we're gonna select set up a ring device right here, which is the first option. 
and what sort of device is it? And as you can see right from here, there is a lot of different options available uh, around this Ring product or the Ring brand, and we're gonna select doorbells. Ring would like to access your camera. Sure, so here you go, here's the camera. Now on the back of the unit, there is actually a code listed. So this is the code that we're going to now point our camera to. Once the code has been scanned, it's now going to ask you to set up your location. So where is this device physically located? Add a new location, yes, and then throw in the necessary information into there. What would you like to name this Ring Video Doorbell? Uh, it's gonna be on my front door, so I'm gonna select front door. That is fine, you can make that anything you want. So press and release the orange button on the back of your Ring Doorbell. Say hello to Ring. Follow the instructions in the Ring app to continue. So once that step is completed, the very front of the panel where the uh, ring button is, there'll be an LED spinning around. And if it's spinning, we say continue. So your device now is in a state where it's created a Wi-Fi network called Ring Setup 38 in my case, and your phone now wants to connect to it. The application wants to connect to it. So we're gonna select join. So the Ring application will now join the Wi-Fi network that has been created by your actual doorbell itself. And now you select your Wi-Fi network, the network that you want your Ring device to be connected to. Your Ring device is now connecting to your Wi-Fi network. This might take a moment. Rome wasn't built in a day. So now that has now connected to my Wi-Fi network. This is now just telling me that Snapshot Capture is going to be turned on by default. Select OK. Congratulations, your Ring doorbell is now set up and ready to use. So we can select continue. So it will go and check the internet to make sure that you are running the latest version. In this case, it's going to download and uh, install the latest uh, software version for this device. And it does say it can take up to 15 minutes. So the next step here is to take control of your home with modes if you so want to use this. You can learn more by clicking on learn more. So these are the specific modes, disarm, home and away. Use default mode settings, we're just gonna say that. Continue. So now it is all set up, ready to use. You can go through and check out a few different things. And I can just tap here to go live. Hello, here is our current setup. The nice thing about that is I just got a little notification before letting me know that there has been motion on my front door. So person detected at your front door. You've got a history area right here we can see exactly what's been happening. So there was motion on my front door, there's a live view, there was a help video that we went through, a walkthrough. There we go, there is motion in the front door again. So it's actually detecting me because I haven't set this thing up yet, obviously on the front door. So we're out of the application. So now let's just simulate somebody pushing the button. Someone is at your front door, activate my video stream, and there I am. So also ensuring that within the notifications area on your phone, you've got all alerts turned to on, you've got the sound on, the badges on, and you've got show preview as always. The other thing that may be helpful is under the banner style, select persistent, because you don't want to miss, obviously, when there is somebody at your door. So now with my phone turned off, we click on the bell. a little notification right here on my watch saying someone is at your front door. So the great thing about the Ring uh, appliances, the actual cameras, uh, is that they're fully compatible with the uh, Amazon suite um, using the Alexa products. I'm gonna open up the Amazon app that I've got just here. If you don't have this application, you can go and download it for free off the App Store, uh, register an account, uh, and then get all, of, get all of your smart devices, your echoes, those sort of things all communicating and uh, connected into one into here. Now by default, the Amazon products will not actually recognize the Ring products. So you have to add a skill uh, within this application to be able to then identify all of your Ring products. So in the top left-hand corner, I'm gonna click on those three little lines. We're gonna go down to skills and games and we're gonna search. So in the top right-hand corner, we're gonna click on our little magnifying glass and we're gonna look for the Ring right here and say search. We're gonna connect the top one, ring, so we can select that skill right from there and select enable to use. It'll redirect you to the ring login page. Essentially, you're going to tell ring to trust the Amazon Alexa application, I guess in that sense. So log in with your ring account. Uh, Alexa would like permission to access your account. So we're gonna select authorize. So ring has been successfully linked. So now close this window to discover smart home devices you can control with Alexa. So we're gonna click on done on the 
very top left hand corner right there. So it should redirect you here to discover devices. Um, if it doesn't come to here, you can access this separately. You can again go to the top little three lines up there on the top left hand corner, select add device. We can then go into camera and now I'm gonna select discover device. Now it really depends. Sometimes um, the actual app will not find any devices. Sometimes it will. If it does, great. If it doesn't, you can try again. You can also just go and sort of experiment by going add device, selecting other, and then trying again. Now in my case, it has discovered my device. So in the devices area, I've now got a camera listed in here, cameras, and it's now got front door, which is my actual uh, ring product, which is for my front door camera and doorbell. So that is now ready to go. So I can talk to the front door, which is the name that I've given it, motion announcements, doorbell, press announcements, things like that. But the great thing is under announcement devices right here, uh, it's actually detected all of my echo devices that I've got around my house. So essentially let me know if there's somebody at the door. Um, if there's been motion detected, that is great. So I'm gonna say doorbell announcements is on because I do want that feature. Motion, I don't need it to tell me that there's motion, okay? Uh, and the doorbell sound is the default, uh, connected by a ring, description is ring, uh, the type is the camera. Someone is at the front door doorbell. And there you go, there is the camera now associated with my Amazon Alexa product. So we are now ready to go and set this up. So let's just go and screw this into place and get it set up outside. So there you have it, uh, that is the setup. Uh, we've set it up, we've got it working, and hopefully you were able to do something similar. But that's it for now. I would love it if you comment, subscribe to my channel, Digital Bike Computing, clicking on the notification bell as well to keep up to date with all of my videos. Thanks again for watching, we'll see you next time.